Welcome. Today we will explore the iconic 1911 pistol, a firearm that has earned its place as one of the most esteemed guns in history. Beyond its captivating aesthetics, the 1911 boasts a legacy defined by its exceptional qualities and enduring impact. Join us as we delve into the remarkable attributes that have solidified the 1911's reputation as a truly powerful and timeless firearm. The development of the 1911 pistol, led by John Moses Browning, was a response to the U.S. military's need for a new sidearm that could offer more reliability and stopping power. The context for its creation was influenced by experiences in the Philippines, where U.S. forces encountered the limitations of their then-current sidearms against Moro insurgents. These encounters underscored the need for a firearm with greater effectiveness, leading to the search for a 45 caliber pistol capable of stopping an assailant with a single shot, as highlighted in the thompson lagarde tests of 1904. John Browning, recognized as one of the most innovative firearms designers of his time, took on the challenge combining his understanding of mechanical principles and inventive genius to create 1911. Browning's design was revolutionary, featuring a short recoil operation system which was a significant advancement over the existing designs of the time. This system, along with the introduction of the 45 auto cartridge, set a new standard for sidearms. The 1911 design included several innovative features that set it apart from its predecessors, its robust all-steel construction and the utilization of a tilting barrel and slide to absorb recoil forces effectively reduced muzzle rise and enhanced shooting accuracy. The ergonomic design of the grip combined with the intuitive placement of the manual thumb safety and slide stop contributed to its ease of use and natural pointing ability. Moreover, the 1911's single action trigger, known for its crisp break and short reset, allowed for precise shot placement. This combination of innovative design elements and functional improvements made 1911 a superior choice for the U.S. military, ultimately leading to its adoption as the standard issue sidearm. The pistol's reliability, performance, and the powerful 45 ACP cartridge's stopping power made it a preferred choice not only for military personnel but also for law enforcement officers and civilian shooters. The testing process commenced on November 10, 1910, under the scrutiny of a board of officers at Springfield Armory, focusing on the most advanced semi-automatic pistols in 45 caliber presented by manufacturers, notably the Savage Automatic and the Colt 45. Initially, when compared to the Savage, the Colt Automatic seemed to fall short in many aspects. The Savage was lighter, had fewer parts, could hold more rounds, and was generally considered more accurate than the Colt. However, its Achilles heel was its propensity for jams and misfires a significant drawback that the Colt did not share. Remarkably, the Colt continued to operate efficiently, even when submerged in water and after sand was poured into its chamber, showcasing its resilience and reliability under adverse conditions, traits that are commendable even by today's standards. Despite the Savage's impressive demonstrations and Colt's robust performance during the trials, Army Ordnance was initially hesitant to fully embrace the automatic pistol for standard issue. In a move to further evaluate their potential, government contracts were signed with both Colt and Savage, allowing 200 of each model to be sent to the cavalry for field testing. Over the next four years, Colt and Savage engaged in a relentless pursuit of perfection, aiming to secure their place as the official sidearm of the U.S. Army. The climax of this competition came on March 15, 1911, in a decisive showdown. To rigorously test the pistols, more than 6,000 rounds were fired from each. While the Savage demonstrated its improved reliability by yielding only 37 misfires, the Colt astoundingly fired all 6,000 rounds without experiencing any jams or malfunctions. This test not only highlighted the Colt's superior durability and reliability, but also showcased its advancements in design, allowing for quicker and easier disassembly compared to its earlier models. Ultimately, these factors cemented the Colt's superiority over the Savage, leading to its official adoption by the Army on March 15, 1911, as the standard-issue sidearm, designated the M1911. The Colt's performance in these trials showed its reliability and effectiveness, 
aspects critical to military needs. The M1911's adoption was also influenced by the historical context, including the U.S. Army's experiences with the inadequate stopping power of the then-service revolvers during the Philippine insurrection. This led to a mandate for a sidearm with a caliber not less than 45, a requirement that the Colt M1911 fulfilled. In addition to proving the M1911 superiority in terms of accuracy, dependability, and ease of maintenance, the rigorous testing procedure was a significant development in handgun technology and established a new benchmark for military sidearms. The 1911 pistol has been a constant companion to American forces through more than a century of military history, seeing action in major conflicts such as World War I, World War II, the Korean War, and the Philippine-American War. During World War I, the 1911 proved to be a powerful and effective handgun in the hands of the American Expeditionary Forces. Its performance was notable in instances such as Army Sergeant Alvin C. York's use of the pistol to kill six German soldiers in close combat, which contributed to him receiving the Congressional Medal of Honor. The pistol underwent modifications after World War I, leading to the improved 1911A1 model, which saw widespread use in World War II. During World War II, the M1911 and M1911A1 pistols were integral to the U.S. military across various theaters of war. These firearms were highly valued for their reliability and durability. The M1911A1, in particular, was the product of modifications aimed at enhancing its usability based on experiences from World War I, leading to improvements in the sights, trigger, hammer, and grip. The production of these pistols was scaled up significantly to meet the demands of the war, with contracts extended to several manufacturers beyond Colt, the original producer. Notable among these were Remington, Ithaca, Union Switch and Signal, and even Singer, known for its sewing machines, highlighting the national effort to arm U.S. forces adequately. Remington Rand emerged as the most prolific producer, underscoring the importance of the M1911A1 to the U.S. war effort. Over 1.9 million 1911A1 pistols were produced during that time. The 45 ACP's potent stopping power was repeatedly noted for its effectiveness, providing U.S. troops with a psychological and tactical advantage. The M1911 and M1911A1's performance throughout the conflict solidified their reputation as reliable and powerful tools of war. In the Korean War, the 1911 continued to prove its value. The war's harsh climate posed challenges leading to adaptations in the pistol's maintenance procedures to prevent malfunctions in freezing temperatures. The 1911's reliability and effectiveness in such diverse conditions highlighted its versatility and robustness as a military sidearm. Throughout these conflicts, the 1911 pistol was adapted and relied upon for its superior firepower and reliability. Its impact on guerrilla warfare tactics, especially during the Philippine-American War, set a precedent for its use in close-quarter battles in subsequent conflicts. The experiences in the Philippines led to the recognition of the need for a sidearm, with significant stopping power a requirement that the 1911 met effectively. This changed military tactics stressing the value of firepower and dependability in close quarters as well as the advancement of rifle technology. This semi-automatic handgun is based on a single-action recoil-operated design, featuring manual thumb safety as well as grip safety, making it one of the earliest pistols to incorporate such features. Its ergonomic design, which includes an intuitive grip angle designed to fit the natural angle of the shooter's hand, has influenced many modern pistols. One of the 1911's most celebrated design features is its single-action trigger, which contributes to its reputation for accuracy and fast shooting. The trigger design allows for a shorter, lighter pull, making it easier for shooters to achieve precise and quick shots. Additionally, 1911 was one of the first pistols to be mass-produced using modern manufacturing techniques, including the use of interchangeable parts setting a standard for affordability and widespread availability. 
The 1911's revolutionary design is further demonstrated by its caliber flexibility. Originally chambered in 45 ACP, the 1911 has been modified over the years to accommodate various calibers, including 9mm, 40 Smith & Wesson, and 38 Super. This adaptability allows shooters to choose the ammunition that best fits their needs, a feature now common in many modern pistols. Moreover, the 1911 design has evolved to include modern features such as extended beaver tail grip safeties to prevent slide bites, ambidextrous safety levers, and low-profile mainspring housings for better concealability. These updates have kept the 1911 relevant and popular among military, law enforcement, and private citizens alike. And examining the 1911 design in comparison to other handguns that emerged around the same era, it becomes evident how innovative Browning's creation was for its time. Other handguns of the period, such as the Luger P08 and the Mauser C96, offered different takes on semi-automatic pistol design. The Luger P08, known for its distinctive toggle lock action, was chambered in 9mm and favored for its accuracy and the ergonomics of its grip. However, it lacked the simplicity and robustness of the 1911's design. The Luger's toggle lock mechanism was more complex and susceptible to dirt and fouling, which could affect reliability. The Mauser C96 offered a high velocity and was one of the first semi-automatic pistols to see widespread use. Unlike the 1911, which uses a detachable magazine for quick reloading, the C96 was loaded with stripper clips, a slower and more cumbersome process. Its design was innovative, but it didn't offer the same ease of handling and maintenance as the 1911. Browning's pistol maintains a significant presence in the modern era, both in terms of continued production and its cultural and functional stature. In the Philippines, companies like Armscore and Metro Arms Corporation have been key players in producing 1911 pattern pistols. Thanks to its numerous film, television, and video game appearances, the 1911 pistol has solidified its iconic stature in popular culture, encompassing strength and dependability. Its presence spans from classic films to the latest action-packed blockbusters and video games, demonstrating its appeal and influence. In Hollywood, 1911 has been featured in timeless World War II movies like Saving Private Ryan, where it is portrayed as a dependable sidearm for U.S. soldiers, to modern action films such as the John Wick series, where Keanu Reeves's character utilizes the 1911 with precision and deadly efficiency. These appearances support the 1911 standing as a dependable and potent weapon in both historical and modern circumstances. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative and engaging, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.